Hey folks, Edge for Thousand Six here. Just doing a quick video. Uh, I just got the replacement bodies in for these PMAG Glock magazines for Glock 17. These are the the model number is PMAG 17 GL9. And so they initially sent these out. They found out that hey, these were great in the G uh, Glock 17, but a Glock 19 or Glock 26, they're having issues with them. I didn't uh, get specifics, but I understand they were failure to extract or, or failure to feed, sorry, and stuff like that. So the new bodies finally came in today. It's May what 11th, so it took about a little about a, two and a half weeks, but it's all good. They just shipped them automatically. If I ordered them off midway again, and when I'm looking at them, I'm trying to check them out, I don't know if I can get this frame here. I don't see a whole lot. There's some slight, obviously, differences um, in the cuts. They, these look a little more precise. The other ones just look a little more rougher uh, with their with a newer body. I mean, these are marked on the side here. These are 11 two, at least there's 11 and a two compared to the first model, which was a nine and a one, and the other one has nine and a two. I don't know exactly what that specifies. If that's a gen or something, or which model when when they were released. But there are some slight differences. Uh, I'm seeing in the cuts as you kind of eyeball them. It, it looks like they're just a little rougher the first the first round that they were sent out compared to these. These have a little more fine detail, and uh, looks like a little more material has been taken off in certain areas. Uh, right here, for instance, I don't know if I can get, get that in focus. There's just some little more material that's taken off on the on this one, and uh, they look a little cleaner. They're still. The only thing I don't like, which, you know, there's still some excess right here. That's not going to rub, though. Um, you should drop free. I'm going to test them right now. Um, everything else looks pretty much the same. Again, the problems they were having were, was with, I think, feeding. So I think they took care of that. We're going to find out the hard way by putting, you know, filling them up. Um, I had these magazines filled up for almost three weeks since I got up bottom, little going on a month. Um, I haven't shot them. I just kind of left them all um, with them maxed out sitting there on top of my gun cabinet. So uh, we're going to put these, change out the bodies on them. This is the original magazine with the follower. And let me show you, man, this is really cool compared to standard Glock magazine. I know, I know people are going to keep buying OEM mags and hey, why not, right? But this is so easy. All you do is push that down. Right there, slide that back, and you're disassembled. Much, much easier than a Glock or a Mag, but I'm not gonna get in an argument whether Glock, which magazines are better and this and that. Glock or magazines are great magazines, you know, they work. So I'm always gonna buy OEM. I just try to give these a shot because they're new and Magpul makes great products. But you saw that I uh, disassembled it and reassembled it rather easy, no stress whatsoever. Or not trying to manipulate. I know some people got some really good pointers on techniques and how to how to take them down and put them back together, real, you know, rather quickly. But nevertheless, really simple. I wanted to do a quick video on that, and uh, I'll do an update once I get a bunch of rounds through these and see how they're doing. So far, everything looks good, but then again, I haven't shot them. H for Thousand Six signing out. Fight the good fight, man. Keep your groups tight.